uh, particularly on the backswing and being able to uh, have that nice rotary kind of coil component to the backswing and not having any lateral motion. The stability trainers are great to, to challenge that, to challenge the balance as well as um, promote that um, kind of rotational mo motion or really to avoid kind of that lateral sway. Um, so what Chloe's going to do, we have three balance trainers here. The green is the easiest or the most, most firm. Then the blue is kind of in the middle and then the black is uh, air filled and so it's a little bit more challenging as opposed to the foam. So we'll kind of find where the, it's best for her to train. We want to train her at, an, uh, at a point where it is challenging but doable. So if it's too challenging for her, we need to back her down. If it's too easy, she's able to do it really, uh, and it's not really uh, challenging her that much, then we need to progress her and move her up. So we're going to start with the easiest one, with the green one. She's going to stand on her right leg. Um, and then from there, she's going to get in a little bit of a golf posture, a little bit of a hip pinch. So you, she's using a soft weight, and from here, she's just going to perform a backswing or kind of like a lift with her, uh, with her upper extremities, um, more in that backswing motion. And she's just trying to maintain her balance here. What I like about this single leg activity is it's pretty self-limiting, meaning that if she tries to go into more of a lateral motion with her hips, she's going to kind of lose her balance and she's not going to be able to, uh, to perform the exercise. And so I don't need to necessarily be watching the person at home as much um, or cueing them as much because they know right away if they did it wrong because they, they lose their balance and they fall over. Now Chloe's pretty, pretty good at this. That green one seems to be pretty easy. So let's try her out on the blue one. So the blue is going to be a little less dense, a little less firm, going to be a little bit more challenging. And she's going to still perform that backswing motion. And again, fairly easy. She's pretty confident. We're not seeing a lot of uh, wobble of her, of her ankle. She's really stable over that right side. We're not getting any lateral motion with the hip. And so we'll see, can we progress her to the black, to the air filled? So we're going to try that same thing. So on her right side, and again, she's going to perform that backswing. And obviously, this one's a little bit more challenging. And so we give her a couple tries to see if she can master it. And it looks like once she gets the hang of it, she's able to do it. Now, I can tell she's working harder with this. And she's definitely going a little slower. So this is a great place to train Chloe because she's challenged here, but she is able to do it. Now, if she was falling all over the place and having to put her left foot down all the time, then we'd say, you know what? This isn't achieving what we need it to do. We're going to back it back down to the blue and challenge doing some more reps, maybe add a heavier ball until we're ready to progress up to the black. Good. Yes. Yeah. All right. We don't need this. So one of the things that I, I work on a lot with our golfers is being able to get power, particularly in the downswing. So being able to shift their weight from their right leg to their left leg to get lateral as well as rotational motion. And so doing some exercises in the gym to train that, that lower body power in those uh, those different planes. And so what Chloe's going to do is she's going to start, am I out of shot? Um, we're going to start on her right leg facing this way. And then from there, she's going to hop and rotate, landing on the blue balance pad. So she has to rotate and hop. So it gets some power. So she's starting on her right side, landing on the left side. So we'll have Chloe try that. So starting on her right side and hopping and landing on her left. So she's getting some lateral motion, so shifting weight from the right to the left. She's getting the rotational component as well. And then again, getting some power in the lower body to get that, that jumping, that hopping motion. Once she's on her left side, she needs to be nice and balanced because when we finish the golf swing, you need to be nice and balanced on that left side, not back on the right side where we've left gas in the tank. If that's easy, if that blue pad's easy, we can progress to the black pad. Or if the blue pad's uh, too challenging, we can move back down. To